Dear students, in this lecture we shall discuss about one of the fundamental principles on which the wave mechanics based and that is uncertainty principle. We shall also illustrate it by considering a thought experiment that is gamma ray microscope experiment which is proposed by Niels Bohr. So let's start. The uncertainty principle is developed by Heisenberg in 1927. According to this principle, it is impossible to specify or determine or measure precisely and simultaneously the values of both members of particular pairs of physical variables that describe the behavior of an atomic system. Such pairs of variables are called canonically conjugate variables. The example of such variables are a rectangular coordinate of a particle and the corresponding component of momentum, the angular position of a particle in z direction perpendicular to the xy plane and the corresponding component of angular momentum, the energy of a particle and the time at which the energy is measured, etc. More quantitatively, uncertainty principle states that the product of uncertainties in measurement of two canonically conjugate variables at a time must be of the order of at least h line. Alternatively, it is stated as the order of magnitude of the product of uncertainties in the knowledge of two canonically conjugate variables must be at least h line. So that delta x delta px greater than equal to h line, delta phi delta jz greater than equal to h line and delta e delta t greater than equal to h line. It is clear from these relations that if one quantity such as position or momentum, angular position or angular momentum, energy or time is measured accurately, the other quantity becomes less accurate, which means in an experiment, if you measure the momentum of a particle accurately, the uncertainty in measurement the position of the particle at the time will be much much less accurate. That is, if delta px equal to 0 in this equation, then delta x becomes infinity and vice versa. Similarly, these are also true. Now we shall illustrate this principle. The gamma ray microscope experiment is actually a hypothetical experiment because in this experiment the position and momentum of an electron are measured by using gamma ray. But it is not possible actually since gamma ray has much smaller wavelength so the measured value of position and momentum must be more accurate. This is the experimental setup of this hypothetical experiment. In this setup this is an electron which is illuminated by gamma ray of momentum of the order of h by lambda. This is a microscope and this portion is the microscope objective. OA and OB are the directions of the scattered radiations. 2 alpha is the observing angle of this scattered radiations. In this experiment, an electron is supposed to be illuminated by gamma ray. The scattered radiation from the electron is observed by a microscope with high resolving power. As this microscope is used to locate an electron in gamma ray, the microscope is called gamma ray microscope. This is actually an imaginary microscope. 2 alpha is the observing angle of the microscope. So to able to see this electron, the scattered radiation should enter the microscope within the angle 2 alpha. The resolving power of the microscope is given by the relation delta x equal to lambda by 2 sin alpha where lambda is the wavelength of the gamma ray and delta x is the distance between two points which can be resolved by the microscope. So delta x must be the uncertainty in the position measurement of the electron. The momentum imparted by the gamma ray to the electron is of the order of h by lambda. The component of this momentum along OA is minus h by lambda sin alpha and 
along OB is h by lambda sin alpha. So the uncertainty in the measurement of momentum in x direction will be delta Px equal to h by lambda sin alpha minus minus h by lambda sin alpha equal to 2h by lambda sin alpha. Therefore, delta x into delta Px equal to lambda by 2 sin alpha into 2h by lambda sin alpha equal to h which is the Heisenberg's uncertainty relation.